Hi Leo. Mm -hmm. This is going to be your twin soul reading update, okay? London, if you're going to be in here, you need to be quiet, please. Okay, so, um, trying to figure out, I think I want to use the standard tarot rider weight, then we're going to go on to the Archangel one. Because I feel like I've been doing most of these with the Archangel, <clears throat> excuse me, the Archangel Power Tarot, but I don't, I don't really like the messages that are coming out with that tarot deck. Like my Rider Weight is always my go-to, so I think I'm gonna do that first, and then do the Archangel messages, and then we're gonna end with the Message of Love Oracle deck. Okay. What does Leo need to know about her twin soul <laughs> journey right now at this moment? What does Leo need to know about the twin soldier? One second. Again. All right. What does Leo need to know about their twin soul journey at this time? My little guys in here. So if you guys hear any background noise, that's what it is. Mom duty. Right, Lundy? All right. Leo. Ooh, Leo. We got Ace of Wands. So we have this all new energy right now in your twin soul journey. A lot of SEX, SEX energy. <laughs> I'm just going to say that because my little guy's in here. So, but that's what that is. Um, we have Ace of Wands. So, uh, there's this energy of something new that wants to come forward in your twin soul journey. But I feel like a lot of you Leos right now are so freaking busy. Wow. Right? We got we got the we got the Ten of Wands. Look. So we got Ace of Wands, Ten of Wands. This is the card of feeling super busy, a little bit overburdened. Some of you are working too hard. A lot of you are pulling double duties triple shifts, mom duty, you know, some of you might be single dads, single moms, feeling the, feeling the pressure. Leo, what do we got for Leo? Oh yeah, look at, I'm proud of you though, Leo, you guys are working really hard to balance your energy. You see that you're a little bit overwhelmed and you want to make room for this new energy you know, to come forward in your twin flame, twin soul journey. So you're trying to balance out your energy. You're trying to balance your work, your fun. Which is what you should be doing. Okay, what else? Let's get two more cards and we're moving on. What else does Leo need to know about their twin soul journey at this time, Spirit? Woo! Thank you for being so quiet, buddy. You're doing great. Okay, a lot of you Leos are feeling like you want to let go of things that are not serving you, right? We have Eight of Cups. So some of you are feeling like you want to give up on the Twin Soul journey. I'm not going to lie. It might, it might feel a little hard right now for you at this moment. Either that or you're feeling like you just want to let, why is, um, why am I eating my hair, y'all? <laughs> Some of you all are feeling like, you know, you, you, you just want to give up all of these things which are like irritating you, the things which are not feeling good in your life, and you have every right to do that, Leo. The divine is supporting you and clearing out your energy field. Why do I feel like this reading is going to be a quick one? <clears throat> Leo. Damn, we got two cards of walking away, Leo. Y'all are walking away from something. Look, I said eight of cups, five of cups, but look what came out after that eight of cups for sure. It's like you're looking at these cups. You're like, there's no way of salvaging that. I'm done. And you're walking away. You're holding on to the two cups that you know 
deserve your attention and you're walking away from the rest of the cups you're like it's already spilled I'm not gonna cry over it it's spilled milk already I'm, I'm moving on and so you walk away right and you cut your losses from something and we'll see we'll get one more card so what happens after that hmm what happens after that for Leo you guys let go of something in this twin soul connection which wasn't serving you. From some of you, you could be literally walking away from this connection. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens next. Leo. Wow. There's a lot of jealousy surrounding you right now, Leo. Be careful. Protect your energy. There's um, something that I use on YouTube. It's called the Grand Jealousy. Je <laughs> the Grand Jealousy Shield. Yeah, mommy can't talk, huh? Um, it is by Sapien Medicine. Y'all know I love Sapien Medicine. I love Sapien Medicine. Okay, he has a energetic morphic field called Grand Jealousy Shield. In fact, I'm gonna try to list it below this video. Okay, in my description box. Look at all this negativity and, and like jealousy surrounding you right now. Leo, you, you are, you're on fire. You're on top of your shit. You're on top of your game. So a lot of people are, are, are not liking that. Look, they're, they're asking you to like, shh, buddy, quiet. They're asking you, you know, like to prove yourself to them. Oh, who, who does Leo think they are? Like, and you know, some of you might be dealing with people that are just trying to gaslight you. People are, are, are trying to like take advantage of you. Right. And you can't take advantage of a Leo <laughs> because once you start taking advantage of a Leo, what happens with Leo is they're just going to cut you off. They're just gonna be like, Nope, well, you're not, you're not having access to Leo anymore. Right. <laughs> it's that simple. You know, they're all saying, oh, well, prove yourself. Well, if you're this like this, then what about this? You don't have to prove anything to anyone, Leo. You don't have to do anything. No. You stand on top of your pedestal. You don't even need to defend yourself. If you feel the need to, shh, I'm talking, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean, but you're distracting me, okay? I'm going to make you get out if you're not going to be quiet. You don't have to defend yourself to anyone, Leo. Let whatever, let... Let those people think what they want to think, okay? Use the Grand Jealousy Shield to protect your energy from those that you know are not happy for you because you're shining your light and you're doing beautiful things and your energy is on point and you're sexy and all that stuff, whatever. Okay, Leo, I see you shining. All right? <laughs> protect your energy from those who would use it against you. Okay, try the Grand Jealousy Shield. All right, we're going to get your Archangel messages. You know, this could be your twin too. I mean, they maybe they're maybe they're jealous. Maybe they think you have other options. I don't I don't know. I I honestly do not know how that really fits in in this. All right. Whoa. <laughs> what else does Leo need to know? I'm dropping all my cards. Ouch. Oh my god, there's so much noise. The cats out there. It's okay. Leave it alone, buddy. What else does Leo need to know? Mm. Why is Iron Man touching my butt? <laughs> <laughs> so silly. All right, what else does Leo need to know? So crazy. What does Leo need to know from their archangels about this twin soul connection? <laughs> You're so silly. Whoa. You silly. So just so you know, Leo, I've already cleansed my space. I saged yesterday. I, I saged myself. Um, I created sacred space with Archangel Michael. I always do. Like, I take my job seriously. Just because it seems like I'm not because I got my little guy in here. I have created all sorts of energetic fields of protection around us, okay? I am in a sacred space. I am in tune with source energy. I am divinely guided and aligned to give you the messages that you need to hear. Alright, 
what else does Leo need to know? Six cards, nine of your... Actually, I'm going to leave these face down so I'm not influenced by the energy while I get the cards out. I saw wings on the door. I saw wings. The cat? Yeah. yeah I saw Leo, what else does Leo need to know? Six cards. I also used both of my psychic stones to enhance my gift before this reading, okay? Which for some reason I keep forgetting the name of this the crystal. I, I did it. I just did a reading for a client too and I, I was going to tell her what it was and I couldn't remember it until halfway through the reading. Leo, what does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? You're being so good, London. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. See, your dad sits here and says you're bad. I don't think you're bad. You just don't like to listen to daddy. <laughs> you're here with mommy. You're being perfectly fine and patient. One, two, three, four, five. You okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, Leo, let's turn your cards over. We got nine of Ariel. Strength. Oh, look at that. Leo, you came out for Leo. Hmm. I love that. Five of Raphael. Nine, Epiphany, Archangel, Raziel. Hope I said that right. Number 15, Decision, Archangel, Jophiel. First of all, Leo, you have three major arcanas. <laughs> Clap for yourself, Leo. Oh my God, I'm sorry, four major arcana. We also have the Empress. Ooh, we, Leo. Leo, high five for Leo. Leo's doing some things. Can we, have a high, can we have a high five for Leo? You're funny too. Nine of Ariel, look at this. We have blessings coming, Leo. We have the rainbow. Your dreams are fulfilled. Bombastic side eye for Leo. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. Mm, Leo, okay, so keep doing what you're doing. Your hard work is paying off in this twin soul journey. Spirit is guiding you to do the hard work and you're doing it. You're not shying away from it. You're not like, oh, I'm tired today. I'm not going to do it. You're doing it, Leo. And they're saying your dreams are being fulfilled. Everything is going according to plan. The rainbow represents twin flame union. So you're doing the right thing. By the way, nine of Ariel is nine of cups. So it's wish, it's a wish fulfillment, okay? Strength, we have Archangel Ariel. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. So, you know, this could be <clears throat> learning to be kind to yourself, learning to be kind to other people. You have your self-confidence right now is through the roof. Nobody can put a... A box on Leo. Don't do that, Bubby. Um, London has a lightsaber. <laughs> it's a lightsaber. So, you know, you're learning to forgive other people. Most, most, most of all, Leo, you're learning to forgive yourself, okay? Which has made your self confidence glow through the roof and maybe that's why people are feeling these upgrades and so there's a little bit of jealousy but that's their problem not yours leo you don't have to dim your dim your light or make yourself smaller so that other people can feel comfortable they have to do the work too okay you have worked on yourself so much that you have this great inner peace right now five of Raphael. everything happens for a reason leo Release regrets and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. Again, we had five of cups, right? This is five of cups again, I believe. Nine of Ariel. So this is nine of pentacles, it might be. Nine of Ariel. So this, the green is cups. So this is five of cups again. So spirit is saying whatever it is that you had to let go of, it doesn't matter. It's not even a part of your journey anymore. They, it literally says everything happens for a reason. Release, release it. Release the regret in regards to that. Embrace the opportunities for happiness, which are coming right now in your twin soul journey, okay? There's always a silver lining. Look, turn your back away, right? See the gift and everything. She's literally walking away from these open gifts. 
right? But it's funny, she's walking away from these open gifts, but she's going and heading for the gift right here on the counter. Do you see that? And the angel's like, get it, get, get it, girl. <laughs> oh, Lord. Epiphany, number nine, Arcane, Archangel Raziel. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. I just said that. See, don't dim your light. I just said it, Leo. I said don't dim your light because other people feel uncomfortable. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter with what, how, how they're feeling. It has nothing to do with you, Leo. Answers that come through meditation. Okay. Time to meditate. You okay, buddy? Yeah, you're okay. All right. There's also, if you look, the angel here, his wings are rainbows as well, Leo. So take that how it resonates. Number 15, look at, we have all these major arcana. So the 11 is strength, 9, I'm not sure what that is in the standard. Because I don't, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. You're funny. <laughs> you funny. You funny. <laughs> Number 9 is the hermit, okay? So that's Virgo energy. All right, number 15, decision. I think, let's see what this is in the, in the, in the standard tarot deck. Number 15, I think that's the devil energy. Ooh, baby. It says, decision, Archangel Jophiel. Release yourself from that which holds you back. Again, we have release and let go. Leo, your theme for this reading is release, 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 release. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Detox your system. Okay, so by detox, it can literally mean detoxing your system, getting rid of, you know, Things that are not serving your system, like, you know what I'm saying, doing a juice fast, a water fast, whatever. Or it could mean detoxing, like decluttering, decluttering your life, right? Getting rid of these, the things which are not making you happy. Let them go. Just move forward because the spirit is saying you have everything you need to move forward. Like you don't need to be stuck in stagnancy. You don't have to, Leo, right? Unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. It's so funny. We got confidence here and then we got lack of self-confidence. So to me, Leo, this doesn't, this is not your energy because we just, we, we have Leo card right here, which says confidence. And then we has, it says lack of self-confidence. So by lack of self-confidence, um, this could be like maybe you're fearful of, of, of doing a certain thing because you're not sure about how it's going to turn out. All right. So don't let that hold you back. You know, other people could be worried about you too. They might be worried that you're not making the right decisions. Again, this other people's energy, it's not yours. Like don't, don't let anything hold you back. Period. Release, 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 release. I'm just going to keep saying it until you get it, Leo. Release. What's up, Bobby? You need something? Yeah, I'm toasty. You want some of my water? You can have some of my water. Here. We have the Empress, number three, Archangel Gabriel. Time to act upon your plans. See? So this is the theme of the reading. Spirit keeps saying you need to release that which is holding you back. And now it's time to, to go forward. Move on with your plans. Whether that's um, getting another job. Whether that's getting more jobs. Whether that's getting rid of the job you have. Whether it's getting a new car. I don't know. Everyone's, every Leo's plans are going to be different. I channel for like the collective, right? For some of you, it's moving out. For some of you, it's um, moving in. A, a place for some of you it's moving on it's you know releasing jobs i don't know it's going to be different for all of you it says time to act upon your plans creativity is rewarded so leo continue to create and to release so whatever it is that you're creating right now it's going to be blessed okay luxurious or abundant resources see so whatever it is that you are creating right now it's creating don't do that buddy it's creating abundance for you it says luxurious luxurious can we just say that again look luxurious glamorous 
Bussy, bussy, luxurious. Luxurious or abundant resources. Leo, I love that for you. You are doing great. Okay. Let's see what your divine counterpart has to say. We're going to get messages of love oracle for you, Leo, from your counterpart. It doesn't matter if you're a masculine or a feminine. These messages are from your counterpart. Okay. It's not, we're not, it's not masculine, feminine. It's, we're channeling for the collective, okay? Whoever's watching this, you know where your energy fits in, whether you're a masculine or a feminine, doesn't matter. Messages from Leo's person, the last six cards for Leo, please. What else does Leo need to know about their twin soul reading and what their counterpart wants to say to them? I always put the cards face down, especially when I do the love messages, so I'm not influenced by the first card. Because usually if the first card comes out, it's a bad card. The rest of the cards come out, they're bad. If it's a good card, the rest of the cards come out good because, you know, my energy will influence it. So I don't want to do that, so I'm going to lay the cards out, six cards, without looking at them, okay? All right, Leo... So I don't know what the cards are as much as you do right now until I flip them over. What do they have for Leo? What is their person? What does Leo's person want them to know? Now, this is not a soulmate reading. So if you're here for a soulmate, don't even bother watching this. I'm just saying, this is a twin soul reading. It's twin flame reading. I specifically asked for a twin soul message. So Leo, what does Leo's person want them to know? So yeah, I mean, it might resonate with you for a soulmate, but keep in mind when I talked to my spirit guides, I said, I want a twin soul reading. I need to get up out of here. I'm hot. What does Leo's person want them to know? I know it's kind of hot in here, buddy. We're going to get out in just a minute. I don't want to turn on the air if they won't be able to hear me. Last two cards for Leo, please. What does Leo's person want them to know? And I'm going to close this reading. I hope this has helped someone. Leo. I do do personal readings. If you need a personal reading, go ahead and click in the description box. My information is always there. Careful, baby. All right. We have neglected. I failed to give you what you need. Ooh, Leo. <laughs> They're admitting it. They fucked up. <laughs> neglected. I failed to give you what you needed. Or they feel that way. Now, you might not necessarily feel that way, but they feel like they messed up. They feel like they fucked up, basically. They feel like they failed to give you what you needed, Leo. Take it out, resonates. Confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. I just spit on this card. So they feel unclear about this connection. They don't know. They don't know, Leo, if you still have feelings for them. Your divine counterpart is like, oh my God, did I screw this up beyond compare? Like, look, stop that. That's not nice. Okay. This is my camera. This is where I'm working, okay? Don't do that, London. What? I'm not going to tell you again. All right. So, look. They're literally feeling confused. They're confused. Look. The, their hands on their head. That's a feminine, but, I mean, it could be masculine or feminine. They're confused about where they stand. They're, they're trying to figure out, did they screw this up beyond repair? They don't know. They feel like they did. Mistakes. Daddy, See, I, I wish I could write my, I don't know. I wish I could write my wrongs. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that, Leo. So, you know, in your person's eyes, in your counterpart's eyes, they feel like they've made a lot of mistakes in this connection. Okay. They're feeling a little bit, um, they're feeling a little bit sad, you know, and, you know, in the Twin Flame connection, like, it's, it's, everything's all perspective. Like, this is how they feel. This might not necessarily be how you feel, but they're feeling guilty, you know? Oh, my God. I literally said they're feeling guilty, and look what's the card I literally just flipped over right now. I wasn't looking at it. I <laughs> That's crazy. That's how you know you're gifted, dude. It says, guilty. I feel pain from the damage I've caused. This keeps coming up for Leo's read. It came up in another read for Leo, I believe. It came up recently in one that I did on Instagram. It was a collective read. It wasn't for Leo. But look, the masculines are feeling guilty or the feminines are feeling guilty. I don't know. 
put it if you're a masculine your your ma your feminine's feeling guilty if you're a feminine your masculine's feeling guilty right put your energy where it fits in that's crazy i literally just said they feel guilty reciprocity this one keeps coming up too for the twin soul collectives crazy i want to have equal give and take so they feel like they weren't giving as much as they should and because of that maybe you didn't give as much leo and so now they're like damn like i'm they're feeling guilty they're like i made a lot of mistakes i wasn't giving like i should and they're confused does leo still still think of me right yeah go ahead buddy and this is the last card daydreaming i'm always longing for you this one came out as well we have repeating energies here people we can't make it up daydreaming they're longing for you they're feeling guilty and you know i hate i hate i hate i hate the energy of guilt because guilt just puts you in a lower vibration right feeling guilty about anything lowers your vibration so um you know but here's the thing about the twin soul journey twin souls are mirrors so you need to ask yourself leo where are you feeling guilty where are you feeling like somehow you disconnected in this in this connection yourself where are you feeling guilty fix that heal that within you okay because to hold on to any guilt period is to lower your vibration and we all know leo don't do that <laughs> all right i love you guys so much i hope this reading helps i hope you got some clarity Mwah.